here we are for Ethan Hawke, Numi Rapace, I think, I hope I said that right, Rapace, and Mark Strong in Stockholm. Now, Stockholm Syndrome or whatever can be considered brainwashing, but, um, I don't know, I don't even know what this was about, it looked pretty good. I just kind of took it on as, as it's something, yeah, based on the absurd but true bank heist and hostage crisis in Stockholm that was documented in New York is the original term Stockholm Syndrome, so I was right. Stockholm focuses on the relationship between, you know, the, the good person and the bad person, and they fuse together. It's really one of the worst things you can do to somebody. Um, it's 92 minutes. Great, that means this movie probably isn't going to be good if it's just a short time. It's rated, uh, get 5.1 out of it, but I can't imagine it's going to need a lot of that. Alright, let's open it up. This one is brand new. Come on. You, this plastic is that hard, I can't rip it open. So that's what I get. The, um, the pen. <laughs> People can wait. It's They wait through all my other videos, like my race car ones. Okay, I got it open now. Take a look at this. This is probably going to be a shitty disc. Alright, before we go go into it, let's take a look at the back again. Yeah, like I said, 92 minutes and rated off a language and brief violence. Jeez. Gonna rate it, make it an R-rated movie for language and a little violence? Jeez. That's terrible. Okay. It has, um, oh, special feature wise, it doesn't show anything on here. There's probably something in the menu. It's probably mediocre. Alright. This is essentially for the disc, it's the same thing. This came out in 2018. It's the same thing as the front cover. And I have to say, it didn't lose much of its coloring or anything, so the disc looks almost the same. The cover still looks a little better, but it's not all that off. It's just a little more brighter and darker on there. <sighs> they all just look like the front cover. Okay, perfect. Absolutely perfect, from because um, there's a few weird whatever over there, but that might be just dust or whatever. It looks like, see that there's a ripple there on the bottom? I don't know if you can see it. That's just discs. People say that could be something to do with disc or whatever it is, but I don't worry about it because all anything I've ever watched with those weird things on the back of the disc, they work fine. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye.